Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to show you how lists got up to three times slower in .NET 9. Now, that is nothing to worry about, .NET 9 is still in preview and Microsoft is working on fixing this. However, I want to treat this video as more of me showing you how you should be testing your applications, especially when you go from, let's say, .NET 8 to .NET 9, to see how performance compares between the two versions and how it might affect you and also how it can be affected in different operating systems because you might be working on a Windows machine like I am working and you might be running your benchmarks, your performance tests on that machine but you might be running these applications on Linux containers which may and can, as you're going to see in this video, perform very, very differently. So in this video, we're going to see all that, show you how you can measure and more. If you like a lot of content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe for more training. Check out my courses on domtrain.com. So what is the issue? Well, Steve Giselle, who I think it's pronounced Giselle, I could be wrong. I think Giselle is a model. Anyway, Steve, a few hours ago, opened an issue on the .NET runtime repo showing how the list.add method is up to three times slower compared to the .NET 8 version in .NET 9 Preview 3. And by the way, spoiler, I'm going to use .NET 9 Preview 4, which is the latest nightly build, and it's still performing equally as bad as what we're going to see in this post. So Steve has the following code. He has a list and then he adds 10,000 items. And then he has a list that has a pre-allocated size of 10,000 items because every list is backed by an array in C Sharp and resizing the array as you add items has some performance overhead. So by predefining the size, if you know it, you can actually save some performance. And what he noticed is that you go from 9.7 microseconds in .NET 8 and 6.7 microseconds in .NET 8 in the non pre alloc versions and pre alloc versions respectively. But then when you see how it performs in .NET 9, you have 25.6 microseconds and 22.5 microseconds. And because list and list.add is used so much in .NET in general, not just your code, but all the libraries and everything we're using, those can have compounding effects where this can lead to millisecond level performance slowdowns, which can be very, very crucial. Now, in the beginning, the .NET team tried to reproduce it and they couldn't. And I want to show you that in my ID because here I have the exact same code as you can see over here. Let me just make this a bit bigger. And as you can see, same thing as before, we have 10,000 items, we add them into a list, everything is an integer and same here. And the thing I'm going to do straight away is just go ahead and run this. And this will be run for both .NET 8 and .NET 9, as you can see, they are both part of this benchmark. First, we're going to run .NET 8, and then we have the baseline true to say that this is our baseline benchmark, and then .NET 9. And hopefully very soon on Dome Train, we're going to have a course on benchmark.net, so keep an eye on that. However, until that becomes a reality, Dome Train is celebrating its first birthday, and until the 30th of April, you can get 40% off any of our existing courses with code BIRTHDAY40 at checkout, 20% off any of the already discounted bundles with code BIRTHDAY20, and you can actually get 15% off your first year of Dome Train Pro, our annual subscription, giving you access to all of our courses with code BIRTHDAY15. Do not miss this opportunity. This is at levels of Black Friday and it won't come back until Black Friday this year. So use a link in the description and invest in your learning. Okay, so results are back and let's see what we have here. So as you can see, if I just make this a little bit smaller, we have our .NET 8 benchmark, 25.5 microseconds and 26.1, basically the same for .NET 8 and .NET 9 within margin of error and then 7.1 for both on the pre-allocated. So basically it looks like .NET 9 doesn't have a regression, but it also looks like they both performed the exact same. There was no improvement either. Let's go back to the GitHub issue. So Microsoft said, hey, I can't reproduce it on uh, x64 Windows. They did get different results than me on this benchmark. So they did get an improvement here uh, compared to what I have, which is a bit weird, but to be fair, I don't have this exact processor. I have the 5950X AMD Ryzen 9. So I guess there might be something related to that. However, they did mention that they do not have a Mac OS ARM64 machine to test because Steven did say that he tried this in an M2 Pro. Now, I don't have an M2 Pro, but I do have this chunker, a MacBook Pro M3 Max that has 
everything specced into it from 128 gigabytes of RAM all the way to 8 terabytes of memory. Did I need this? No. Did I buy it anyway? Yes. Am I terrible at financial decisions? Yes. What are you going to do about it? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the exact same benchmark as you can see over here, but using my Mac. Nothing else is different. I have the exact same .NET 9 Preview 4 versions, and I'm just going to make sure this is in release mode and run it and see what we get back on my Mac now. Okay, so results are back and let's see what we have here. So as you can see over here in .NET 8, nine microseconds, but in .NET 9 on my Mac, 22.4 microseconds for the exact same code. Thankfully, memory is exactly the same. So it seems to be just an execution speed thing. And then you have .NET 8 on the pre-allocated version 6.2 and .NET 9 20.1. So more than three times slower on a Mac. So clearly we have an issue on Mac OS compared to Linux. Now, why am I making this video and I'm just showing you an issue that realistically by the time this is out won't even affect you anyway? Well, it's two reasons. First, this hasn't really been resolved yet. So I'm going to put a link in the description for this over here. But as you can see, this is still being investigated. I'm going to try to push this video the day I recorded so you have a chance to maybe help Microsoft solve this. I know many of you are incredibly good at performance. So you'll find diff checkers. You're going to find different instructions on what changed between one version and the other on the OS. But the other reason why I'm making this is because you should always, when you upgrade from one version of .NET to the other, run some performance regression tests. You never know. Microsoft will hit you with those performance, you know, graphs that say .NET 9 is so many times faster than .NET 8. And that might be the general truth for most use cases, but is it true for you? And if it's true, Microsoft wants to know that. Microsoft sometimes will let issues like this slide because the benefit you're getting out of a new feature outweighs the performance you might lose, but they almost always want to be faster than the previous version. So I'm going to put a link in the description. If you want to help Microsoft investigate this, give it a go. I know a discussion is going on on the community C Sharp Discord server. So join that as well. And I hope we can solve this issue. But now I want to know from you, have you encountered a regression like this in any previous .NET version? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.